Good day everyone. Let's start our lesson with a story problem. Raul ran a distance of 2,000 meters in 9 minutes. He ran another 3,000 meters in 11 minutes. What is Raul's average speed for the distance he covered? To solve this problem, let's analyze first what is asked and what are the given facts. In the problem, it asks for the average speed. Okay, and the given are here 2,000 meters in 9 minutes and 3,000 meters in 11 minutes. Now, how are we going to solve the average speed? Let's define first uh, average speed. Average speed is the total distance traveled divided by the total time. And using this triangular chart, we will be able to generate a formula in forwarding for the average speed. So we have where the average speed is equal to the total distance divided by the total time. So this is the formula for the average speed. This lesson is connected or continuation to the previous video about speed, distance, and time. If you have not yet watched the previous video, please watch it before this topic, average speed, so you can fully understand the lesson. Now let's go back to the story problem. Since the problem is the average speed, we write the formula uh, average speed is equal to total distance divided by time. Remember that Raul ran at a different speed for his first and second run. To find for the total distance run, we can add the 2,000 meters plus 3,000 meters. We have 5,000 meters and for the total time spent, we have 9 minutes plus 11 minutes is equal to 20 minutes. Then, we can now substitute the total to the formula. We have 5,000 meters divided by 20 minutes. We divide 5,000 divided by 20. We have 250. Then divide meters divided by minutes. So we can divide that. So we can just try 250 meters per minute to find for the average speed because speed is distance over time therefore our answer is uh, 250 meters per minute is Raul's average speed for the distance he had run let's have more examples a car traveled from city a to city b in four hours it then took three hours to travel back to city a from city b if city B was 392 kilometers away from city A, what was the average speed of the car for the whole journey? It is given that the distance from city B to city A is 392 kilometers. Therefore, it is also obvious that the distance from city A to city B is still 392 kilometers since it did not say going in different route. For the time spent, it took 4 hours from city A to city B and it took only 3 hours going back. Probably the traffic was not so heavy when he traveled back. So we substitute the total distance and total time in the formula. We have average speed is equal to total distance divided by time. So the total distance traveled is 392 kilometers plus 392 kilometers, or you can multiply it to 2, 392 times 2, we have 784 kilometers, and for the total time spent, we add 4 hours and 3 hours, we have 7 hours, so 784 kilometers divided by 7 hours, we get 112 kilometers per hour. Therefore, the average speed of the car for the whole journey was 112 kilometers per hour. Next, we have a car travels 195 kilometers in 3 hours. What is its average speed? And the second question, at this average speed, how far will the car travel in 30 minutes? So, we have to answer two questions here. But first, uh, we answer this, the average speed of the car if it travels uh, 195 kilometers in 3 hours. So, for our formula, we have average speed is equal to total distance divided by total time and the total distance is 195 kilometers divided by that 3 hours. Then we divide 195 divide 3, we will get 65, then we write kilometers per hour. So the average speed 
is 65 kilometers per hour. And the second question would be at this average speed, so with this speed, which is 65 kilometers per hour, how far will the car travel in 30 minutes? So the second question is how far? So we're looking for the distance. So for the formula for the distance, we have distance is equal to the speed times the time and the speed is given which is 65 kilometers per hour times the time which is 30 minutes we can convert that into hours which is 0.5 hours then we multiply 65 times 0.5 we have 32.5 then we also simplify the kilometers per hour times the hour and we cancel this hour then our answer is kilometers so we have 32.5 kilometers next mike ran five kilometers in 30 minutes louise ran three kilometers in one fourth hour who ran faster so in this given we need to find for the speed of mike and speed of louise and we compare so first let's check or let's find out the average speed of mike by um Substituting with the formula which is distance or total distance divided by the total time, we have 5 kilometers in 30 minutes. We can convert that into 0.5 hour. Then uh, we divide 5 divided by 0.5, we have 10 kilometers per hour. And for Louise, uh, average speed is equal to 3 kilometers, is the total. Um, distance divided by 0.25 hours since one fourth of an hour is like uh, 0.25 in decimal and we divide 3 divided by 0.25 we will get 12 kilometers per hour therefore it's very obvious that Louise ran faster so Louise ran faster than Mike by the way I use hour here instead of minutes for Mike so that I can compare easily the average speed of Mike and Louise since Louise uh, the given is one fourth hour but you can also uh, convert Louise time uh, one fourth hour to minutes and you use this mi 30 minutes also so as long as we compare only one unit so it is easier for us to find out the um, the one who ran faster next mr abad took two hours to drive 128 kilometers what is his average speed so let's answer this first question first so our average speed is total distance divided by the total time we substitute 128 kilometers divided by two hours we have the average speed is 64 kilometers per hour and if we answer the second question so this is the average speed is 64 kilometers per hour and the second is if he continued his journey at the same average speed so this average speed is the 64 kilometers per hour and then for another three hours how far did he travel in all so first we need to find for the distance for another three hours distance is equal to the speed times the time so the speed is 64 kilometers per hour times the three hours we multiply 64 times 3 we have 192 kilometers and this 192 kilometers is the distance for another three hours but the question is how far did he travel in all so from this 128 kilometers we add it to 192 we will get 320 kilometers so the answer is he traveled 320 kilometers uh, altogether next Willie took 15 minutes to run around a 400 meter track three times what was his average speed in meters per minute so the question is the average speed so our formula is total distance divided by the total time for the total distance, it says here that he ran around a 400 meters track three times. So we multiply 400 meters times three and 
um, he ran for 15 minutes. So that's the total time. So 400 meters times 3, we multiply that. It's 1,200 meters divided by 15 minutes. We divide 1,200 divided by 15, we will get 80. Then uh, it's minutes per meters per minute. So our answer is his average speed is 80 meters per minute. Okay, that's all about the lesson about average speed. Now, why do we need to learn speed? Now, speed is an important factor in many competitions. One of the examples is solving math problems, right? The one who can give the correct answer within the shortest time wins. Others would be in sports too, like tennis, boxing, running, and many more. And I hope that you learned something about our video today.